those of the Weather Underground in the 1960s, of course, that violent group. Joining me now is Terry Turchi, former FBI Deputy Counterterror Director, author of the book, In Their Own Words. Terry, these videos are hard to watch. They're not being reported on by the other networks, which is a stunning dereliction of journalistic duty. Uh, but what's the similarity with the Weather Underground, and why is that so jarring to you for people who aren't, still aren't familiar with that group? Sure, many people weren't even born uh, at that time. The Weather Underground, Laura, was a terrorist group back in the uh, 1970s, and they were responsible for well over 2,000 bombings and attacks on government institutions, businesses in uh, the United States. And uh, certainly uh, they had a major goal, and that goal was to foment a uh, communist revolution. They called themselves communist-minded men and women. And in 1974, they authored a document called Prairie Fire, and they outlined their strategy, and they outlined the way they could get to that strategy and actually bring down the U.S. government. We saw during that time frame massive protests, hundreds of thousands of people in the streets, uh, kind of marshaled by the aftermath of the Vietnam War, then Watergate, and they, they used those protests to get where they wanted to go. But then they got scattered as the FBI was effective in running them down, and eventually and many of them left the country. Uh, ultimately, uh, the Weather Underground kind of went out of business, but they left Prairie Fire behind. What was their strategy? This was a 180-page uh, document. Their strategy was called resistance. Not too long, maybe about five minutes after President Trump won the election in 2016, Democratic Party leaders came out and they said, we're going to uh, resist. We're going to embark upon a strategy of resistance of the president. But that's, not, uh, that's only the beginning. The document, the Prairie Fire document, actually contained six points that the Weather Underground felt very important about. These were the planning points that would bring about this revolution. Uh, they wanted capitalism We're going to put them on destroyed. screen, Terry, so people can see what you're talking okay. about. Go through them briefly. Destroy capitalism, the weapon of uh, Destroy choices. capitalism. Yeah, systemic racism, yeah, it, political racism, police racism, identify the victim classes, organize the victim classes. That's why you have... Uh, LGBT uh, folks and, and illegal immigrants exactly. are now joining the cause. Engage in international solidarity with the global movement. Attack and dethrone God. So let's take two of those points tonight. Let's take international solidarity and, of course, police racism. This is over 50 years ago. Racism, systematic racism, police brutality, systemic police brutality, these were the things they were saying then. They knew that these were nothing more than the, the kerosene you throw on the fire, but they knew they worked. The Black Panther Party, meanwhile, in, over in Oakland, was recommending, was saying, we're going to demand that the police in, in our communities leave, that we'll police our own communities. Uh, all of this was happening at the same time. The Black Panther Party was ambushing police officers in America back then. So police racism then and police racism now is a phony issue. It has always been a phony issue. It is the issue that communist societies use to literally tear apart America and, and to be divisive. Those categories of people you have on that screen, those are the kind of victimhoods that they look for to kind of bring, uh, bring into focus large groups of people and get them on the team here. And, and so when you see these demonstrations, yep. they're kind of a part of a lot of organized parties out there that are being brought in together. All of this has been adopted into the 2016 Democratic Party platform in almost the same language as you have on the screen. And, uh, <laughs> so, and now so we we're go. seeing their politicians. Yeah, so Terry, now from these radical groups that became violent, bombings and so forth, morphing into all these groups today and in, in resulting in a new Democrat party that's embracing all of these radical ideas and making people literally bow down to them or else you're going to lose your job or all the other things they're threatening. And all these corporate CEOs, all these folks are just, everyone's running scared. Terry, uh, we're going to continue. We'll talk to you next week uh, further on this because there's going to be more developments. We see them already happening. Thank you so much. And the Minneapolis.